morning, good morning everyone. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. Praise the Lord. Today is Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. Hallelujah. Today is 27th of July 2022 and today topic is beware of it bearers of salvation praise the lord bearers of salvation so before we start this beautiful morning let's pray together holy are you lord all creation cause you Your name, we bow down and worship you. You're the awesome God, a great You are God, mighty are your name. We stand in all of your holy name, Lord, we bow and worship you. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. Thank you for who you are. We appreciate you, Lord. We are not taking it for granted for your love that you have shed abroad in our hearts, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your goodness. Thank you for peace of mind and rest in our side. Thank you for your faithfulness. We are gathered this morning to start our day with your word because your word is all we need. As we meditate on your word, we thank you for guidance of your truth. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Thank you for teaching us today of God's word. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Jehovah, you are the master. Jehovah. Come on, sing. Jehovah, you are the master. Jehovah, you are the most I got. Jehovah, he is the most I Jehovah, he is the most I got. Bearers of salvation. And First Timothy 1 verse 11 says, According to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust, that's Timothy 1 11, and a man of God continued. As Christians, we have a ministry of reconciliation. Our work of the gospel is to reach our world in reconcilement to God. We have to do it. Those of us who have believed in Jesus Christ have been brought into fellowship with God. 1 John 1 verse 3 But the, world, the, old, but the old world isn't. It is our responsibility to bring them in. Hallelujah. Jesus said in Mark 16 15, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Hallelujah. This charge wasn't given to angels, but to us, his disciples. They are Christians who pray to God to send angels to get people to come to Christ. But that is not their job. Their job is to get the people in contact with us so we can minister the gospel to them. We are the bearers of the message of salvation. We are the ones to lead people to salvation in Christ Jesus. Somebody might say, but in Revelation 14, 67, we are told about the angel that was to preach the everlasting gospel. And I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them. 
that dwelt on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people saying with a loud voice fear God and keep glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters the message of this angel wasn't a message of salvation but of judgment as seen in the underlying portion above preaching the gospel of salvation is an assignment clearly cut out for us in Acts 10 the bible tells us how an angel was sent to Roma soldier by the name of Cornelius Acts 10 verse 1 to 3 but the angel didn't preach the gospel to Cornelius instead the angel got him to make contact with Simon Peter who came and preached to Cornelius and his household and they receive salvation. What an honorable assignment it is for us to be bearers of the message of salvation to the ends of the earth. Bless be God. You should be glad about that. Make it your life work. You have been given the opportunity to serve in the gospel to make his righteousness known and establish his kingdom in the earth and in the heart of men. Hallelujah. We are the bearers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You can, yes, that is past of make examples of Cornelius. We all know Cornelius' story. Cornelius was, then, it was only the Jews and the Gentiles that received salvation. That's that the, the feel that the message, the, the coming of the Lord Jesus was for. Every other re, uh, religion, every other tri tribes was seen. Hallelujah. They were pagans to them. Hallelujah. Only the Jews and the Galatians, they feel that Jesus Christ was just for them alone. That Jesus Christ came to die for them alone. Praise the Lord. And so in this uh, occasion, because God knew that Peter refused to go to Cornelius' house because Cornelius was not Jewish. Praise the Lord. So what God did was he visited him in a dream. And in that dream he gave him a, um, an animal to eat. But Peter kept refusing and said that they are on the fight. That he, cannot, that he has never eaten anything on the fight in his life. And God keep telling him that, how can you refuse what I've given to you? Can you call what I, I'm giving to you on, on the fight? But after Peter went through that revelation, he woke up and that's when he had a knock. So before then, God told him that there will be a knock, you have to answer. Because then it was difficult. They don't associate themselves with those people. They just feel that Jesus Christ's death was for Jewish Praise the Lord. They just every other person is a sinner. Every other person is a pagan. They don't associate themselves with them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just like the way Jehovah Witness does. If you're not a Jehovah Witness, they feel that you are you are a sinner. Praise they don't associate because I'm, I'm, I was a Jehovah Witness before, so I know how it is. You don't associate with anybody that is not Jehovah Witness. Praise the Lord. So that, that was how it was. In Peter's case, so because God knew that Peter would refuse, then that is why God make himself shown to Peter and teaching him a lesson and say, Don't call anything that I've created on the fight. That means you have to go with this person, don't say they are sinners, you have to go with that. Was why that revelation was given to Peter. And when Peter uh, woke up. He got a knock from the door, but because God has already appeared to him through an angel, Peter went with him. Do you know that his fellow apostles, when they heard that Peter went to Cornelius, they were angry. They said Peter, Peter's backslide, that Peter went to dine with sinners. Praise the Lord. But Peter had to explain to them at the end of the day. So that is what Pastor is trying to say to us. Angel can only... help you through someone to get the salvation to your door praise the lord if you're praying about salvation what the like what the uh, god did he ministered to uh, peter to to bring the salvation to Cornelius. praise the lord so we on earth we are the doers of God's work 
we are the messenger bearer praise to it's not the angel the angel cannot do that praise to Lord. hallelujah so that is what it means by bearer of salvation you are the bearer of salvation i am the bearer of salvation praise to Lord. so without being celestial in the profession sphere dear lord thank you for the privilege to be a bearer of the message of salvation thank you for granting me the grace to turn men to righteousness to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of satan unto god i fulfill my ministry today as an ambassador of christ and the gospel in jesus name amen for that study you can look at mark 16 verse 15 to 16 Daniel 12 verse 3 to 2 Corinthians 5 verse 18 to 19 and Matthew 28 verse 19. So at your leisure time you can go through the scriptures and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. And if you're here this morning, you've not given your life to Christ as I always do on this platform, this is an opportunity for you to do so. Salvation is on your doorstep. So all you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Praise the Lord. And if you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God, praise the Lord. All you have to do is live, read your Bible, praise the Lord, and also look for a believing church and worship there and bombard yourself with faithful messages such like this. Thank you so much. What a wonderful day. Thank you so much. So before we go, let's pray. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please. I'll give you an opportunity for you to do so. So at any time I upload a video, you'll be first to notify. You can leave a comment and you can also like and share. Praise to Lord. Uh, comment. If you have any, if you want to pray privately with me, you can message me at Flora Cooking Channel. I'll be there to pray with you. Praise to Lord. I'm here to serve you. Praise to Lord. Not that that will run. I'm here to serve you. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. God bless you. So I'll give five seconds for you to do so. Five, three, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. God bless you. So before we go, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We appreciate you. We give you all the praise. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your word that we have had this morning. We thank you for our daily bread. We thank you for our doing and our coming in. Yes, Father, thank you for making us the light of the world, the salt of the earth. Father, we give you all the praise for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a fabulous day. I'll see you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.